So I'm going to be discussing um, the claims further that um, federal mandates and incentives to adopt Common Core should be abandoned and uh, discuss why they do not hold as much weight as my opponent claims they do. Um, so her first claim, as I am going to repeat, was that it kills innovation, Common Core kills innovation. Um, but this is academic innovation, and we really need to take that into consideration. Um, the similarities will benefit the student more than uh, my opponent uh, really considers, especially uh, that can be seen through an article called The Advantages of Common Core State Standards, published in um, the Albuquerque Public Schools website. And my evidence is that in an increasingly mobile society, families transferring to new schools will not have to adjust to new learning experiences or expectations, I'm sorry. Standards will be the same for all students in states adopting the Common Core State Standards, making transitions smoother for students. Common Core State Standards will facilitate conversation among parents, teachers, and students about high academic goals. Parents will better be able to work with their students and teachers in ways that support learning content and skills defined by the Common Core State Standards. So the similarities are going to be able to help the student more than hold them back because we will all be held up to a similar standard in academia. In addition, funding is important in this conversation because the government needs these incentives for states to have a different mindset and allow these innovations to take place. The hesitations that do still exist are due to attitudes, especially when my opponent discusses her second claim about parental role in education. But we really need to take into consideration that attitudes are more important than the actual curriculum. In an article by Lillian G. Katz about preventing and resolving parent-teacher differences, it is noted that it is important for teachers and parents to remember that they know the child in different contexts and that each may be unaware of what the child is like in, other, in another context. Therefore, we need to really draw the line between what academics is and what home life is and really allow uh, schools to become involved with this um, process. In addition, it is important to know that the fifth point of um, the fifth point of the Common Core State Standards and Teacher Preparation Guidebook is that these standards are being designed and they are designed and maintained for a data coll collection system, and they are committed to a continuous improvement. Therefore, there are still many changes that can take place, and parents and um, teachers really need to take that into consideration, since there is no really solid ground yet, and we need to open our minds to the potential of the standardized system for many reasons. Also, um, the old system can already be seen to not be working in the best way, and we have seen examples where other states, or other countries, I'm sorry, have had more effective systems, and Common Core State Standards would be a fresh slate of American education, we need to let go of the comfort with the old system, especially since college education is more important now than ever. And um, we need to discuss the changes that can be made in this curriculum for the new technological age and uh, not disregard the potential for a new academic system. <laughs>